only a couple more loads room left in this 150 here but there's only a couple more loads left in haylage then we're going to start uh, and see how chopping that triticale new seating goes all right so we're cutting this new seating strip here we're going to see how our chopper handles it so we're only going to cut one we got a couple more loads that haylage left and we got to put a new bag on and then we're going to try and chop this this afternoon this stuff is so headed out, it dries so fast, you can cut it in the morning and then chop it in the afternoon. It's thick. I don't know. I don't know if we'll be able to chop it. I really enjoy cutting this triticale. It just, like, cuts it so clean off and it just shoots out the back pretty sweet because it looks different than alfalfa. I don't know. I like cutting this stuff. Especially because it's so tall. Maybe that's why. Little bumpy. Alright guys, I got that all mowed. My uncle's going to head out with the chopper here in a minute. He's going to go wash the radiator out of the tractor. But on one of those last passes, I mowed a skunk for sure. That's all I can smell right now. I didn't smell it before, and then all of a sudden I was cutting, and then boom. Skunk smell. You guys are lucky you don't smell that. That's awful. That is awful. And just like that, we're off. Hopefully the rest of the hay silage fits in this bag. There's about 11 folds left stuff with four. Each load does about two to, like one and a half to two folds. So we'll see. If not, we're putting a new bag on anyway. It'll just go on the end of the first one or the next bag. It's a little full. Let's see how good he is. Let me right on. I have one more load to unload into the bagger, and that's it for haylage. Then we're on to this triticale, which is like the parent crop to our new seeding of alfalfa. So there is some alfalfa mixed up in here with the uh, triticale. But we'll be starting chopping that here, but we're gonna have to put a new bag on first. Last load of halids going in the bag and it should be full. So Taking this bag off. Good 150 footer.
first unload of Triticale into the bag. <clears throat> some actually, some really nice feed here. Might be chopping it a little bit, a little bit green, but oh. Last load of triticale for today. Tomorrow I'll cut the last four strips up there on the hill and then we'll be chopping them in the afternoon. Alright, this is the last field of triticale we're cutting. It's thick. A lot of, a lot of feed here. But it's the last field we're cutting. We'll be chopping here this afternoon. It's only like 11 or so right now, maybe 11.30. But yeah, we'll be chopping this this afternoon and then that'll be it for uh, cutting and chopping until third crop, which third crop is coming along really nice over here. And then those bare spots over there are what we just took off last of third crop. So yeah, coming along nicely over here. Also some of our corn over here starting to get some tassels. Heck yeah. Gotta go slow. Seeding ground is pretty rough. much this is already load number who knows what like five or something and we're just about done with the first field so uh, three more strips above that to do yet hopefully we can get her done everything hopefully go smooth knock on everything this is like an ongoing ongoing thing here to so just keep knocking on everything when we say oh blah, blah, blah. so yeah it probably won't be much video of this triticale here just because we just want to get it done and we're ready to be done with all this hay. It's been like two weeks of straight hay, so yeah, we're, we're ready to call it good until third crop. going here we got two strips left these are the smallest ones yet and I don't know probably a little over halfway yeah a little over halfway on this bag here which is good so it might work out perfectly to get done exactly at the 150 feet that the bag is we'll see
guys know this? Or think this as well, I mean. But for some reason this Triticale smells like corn salad. A, li a little bit. Not a lot, but I get a hint of corn salad for some reason. I'm not sure why. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that. Maybe I'm just here. Definitely just here. Stuff is some pretty nice silage actually. Chopper's cutting it up really nice. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice clean field there. Triticale. This one up here is nice and clean as well. My uncle's up there chopping on that third strip now. Sorry I haven't got much chopping videos. We're just trying to get this stuff done. But hopefully if there's like one more load left I can get some video of him chopping like the last load or something. We will see, we will see. All right, this will be the first load for the Myers back. This bearing went out here, grandpa fixed that and the chain broke so he had to put a new chain on there. So we'll see how this baby operates now. Hopefully well, we love this giant wagon. It's our biggest wagon here. Beautiful farm in the background. So far so good at the Myers. Knock on wood that it just keeps keep working. Cause we love this wagon. Only be a couple more loads. I think we're on we said we're on load twelve. Uh, quite a bit of loads. I promise you that takes some serious skill. I could never. Backing up a chopper and the chopper box. That's a beautiful thing. guys that's it for the end of second crop and that new seating finally we just got to unload all these wagons yet and we're done man thanks for joining us in this uh long adventure of second crop we got a lot of it got a lot of it which is a good thing because we need it so we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching like comment subscribe so this will be the last load we unload into this bag almost 150 foot of triticale we just chopped just a couple feet short because that bag's exactly 150 but that's a haylage and then this will be just just shy of that by a couple feet here which is a lot of feet but we're gonna unload this i'm gonna do a time lapse and that should be the end of the video so i already said thanks for watching like comment subscribe but i'll say it again thanks for watching like comment subscribe
well possible chance for some uh thunderstorms tonight hopefully it's just rain and we don't get too much uh wind or hail or nothing like stupid like that but yeah it's been a good uh two weeks got a lot done i keep uh adding more parts to this video even though i already ended it but oh well some serious bag happening here man kelly ryan gets her done though heck yeah